COVID-19 is something we need to deal with in all parts of our services. We want to keep our colleagues and those who use our services safe, but we also need to continue to provide our services. Here in the Mental Health Services in Blackrock Hall Primary Care Centre, we've made some changes to allow us to continue to provide our services as safely as possible. Physical distancing is going to be a part of our lives for the foreseeable future. Um, it's the new normal. Um, and it's really critical that everyone in healthcare, all of us, that we set a good example for everybody. So not just in the clinical setting, um, our team meetings, uh, in our break rooms, um, on our way to and from work and also when we're socialising. Where possible, we avoid bringing people together for more than 15 minutes if a safe distance of two metres cannot be maintained or if possible, we make sure that we remain more than two metres apart from other colleagues or from people accessing our service. One way of reducing face-to-face -face contact is by using technology to keep in touch with people using our services and with each other. Of course, we're still there for people face-to-face -face and to maintain that really important link. And when we do, we're taking every recommended precaution, including using face masks if we're closer than two metres together or spending more than 15 minutes in a consultation. Either our sessions are face-to-face -face or are by computer. Uh, we wipe down furniture and door handles with disinfectant before and after each session. Uh, before and after video meetings or consultations, we wipe down keyboards. If we're moving to work elsewhere, we make sure that we wipe down all keyboards and surfaces. All visitors, everybody using our service, all staff clean their hands before and after each session. And of course, uh, after coughing, sneezing or blowing their nose. All wipes, hand towels and tissues are placed in bins and hands washed afterwards. So we looked at some of the easiest um, steps that we could take here um, in our offices here in Blackrock Hall to see how we could actually implement um, physical distancing here um, within our office space, particularly when we're seeing clients, um, particularly for ourselves. Um, we looked at the HSC guidelines around physical distancing, we got out the measuring tape to see what we could actually do inside in our clinic rooms. Um, we looked at all the high traffic areas within our clinical space, so within our office spaces, within our break room, within our waiting room. Um, the interview rooms, you know, just the photocopier, the busy areas in the office to see how we could actually maintain that physical distance. So we ordered some simple materials really, um, just to remind visitors and staff here to the building um, about our physical distancing guidelines. So two things did surprise me. Um, the first was what two metres actually is. Um, it's great to see it measured out and laid out correctly. Um, I was also surprised at how some simple steps transformed the office and um, the spaces. So I suppose at the moment it's more important than ever that we have the opportunity to interact with our colleagues at break times and during rest periods. So we've done everything we can to make sure that staff can remain two metres apart while still having the opportunity to enjoy this really valuable interaction. So by implementing physical distancing, we've been able to keep our services running. Uh, we're extremely proud of how we've uh, transformed our workplace um, to allow for physical distancing to keep ourselves, our colleagues and the public safe. We can work together, but still stay apart. We can work together, but still stay apart. We can work together, but still stay apart. Be aware, be safe, be well. 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 <laughs>